know where he is? Yeah. You're going to have to have a seat. I'm going to have to yeah. find him. Okay. Well, it's not just that. It's like I checked the dress code. There's nothing in the dress code that violates that. So, I mean, like, what? It's not going to happen, brother. You're not going to have your hoodie back until 7 o'clock. Why not? There's no, I've already explained it. You're not I know, but I checked the dress code, and there's nothing. It's not promoting any violence. Uh, I've seen it's plenty of other... It's not promoting violence? It's not promoting violence. Okay. Here's no. the answer. You're not getting it back. Okay, the well, then can, can you guys change the uh, dress code then? Because that's not, like... No. That's a board of education? I have seen a mask. We'll call mom. Okay, cool. What's your last name? Gomez. You can shut the door. Carlos? Hello. Hey, Mr. High School, how are you? Hi, good, how are you? Good. Hey, I'm one of the principals up here, and I've worked with Carlos this morning, uh, and then he came back to kind of revisit the topic. So, Carlos came in this morning, and he's not in trouble. He's not, there's no, like, suspension or detention or anything involved with this, but he doesn't agree with the decision, and I just want to kind of get you involved. So, I, my, one of my duties in the morning is to uh, stand in the commons, and as students come in, you know, hey, put your mask up, hey, you know, just dress code, and hey, how are you, just stuff like that. So Carlos walks in this morning, and I notice he's got a black hoodie on that's got an uh, image of an assault rifle on the front of it. Are you familiar with that one? Yes, I am. Okay, so he walks in this morning, and I said, hey, and I don't know him from Adam, I honestly don't. I said, hey, bud, come over here. I said, that, I hope you understand that's not something that we can have you walking around the building in today. I want you to take that off. I'll hold it back in my office. You can have it at the end of the day and, and, and go home with it. And uh, he, he said a few things. You know, I looked at the dress code. It doesn't say I can't have this. He, I said, I, I understand that. However, I'm, you're not going to be allowed to walk around the building with a, a sweatshirt with an assault rifle on it. And he gave it up, and I have it back here. Well, he came back here just a couple minutes ago, and, and uh, he asked for his hoodie back. And I said, Carlos, I'm sorry. You can't have that back till the end of the day. And he is uh, debating that, it's, it, that it is appropriate, that he should be able to wear it, that it's not excluded by the dress code and that sort of thing. And I said, listen, I don't think you're going to understand what I'm saying, um, so we're going to need to get your parents involved because you're, you're not settling with what I'm telling you is gonna, is what's going to happen. So I just wanted to bring you into the conversation. Okay, is he there to just get it back, or is he wanting to put it back on and wear it? He wants to put it back on and wear it. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to let him have it back until the end of the school day. Okay, so um, he asked if he could wear the hoodie, because um, he asked if he could wear it to school, and we talked about it, and I told him that, you know, they're possibly going to come after you for this, because it's a sensitive topic with a lot of people right now, um, and, but he's like, yeah, but, you know, free speech, and there's these kids at school that wears um, no justice, no peace on their hoodies, and that could be considered inciting violence, and I agreed, I'm like, yes, it is. And, you know, if, if you want to risk it and wear it to school, I said, but if you're asked to take it off, I said, just comply, just take it off. Yep. I was like, but, but I did tell him that he could wear it. Um, but he does think that it's unfair that, you know, there's, there's special treatment. Well, if, if, there's, if there's no direct link to violence, you know, we, we, it's fine. You know, you're allowed to, as, as there's, you know, there's plenty of case, case law in the history. Um, you know, there, I forget what the name of the case is, but students wearing black armbands to school to protest the Vietnam War. 
you know, that, that's not a direct link to violence. That's a peaceful protest. Um, and this is where our, our judgment gets involved, obviously, where no justice, no peace. Sure, I get it. That's, that's definitely a cause. And those that become violent, that's a, a 